Right YouTube, Wowfly, doing the second test on this uh, 3G booster repeater. Um, it's boosting and repeating signal to my phone at the moment. It's fluctuating quite a bit because this is the test for the uh, the Yagi antenna. The signal's cutting up to sort of 96%. Uh, on there it's showing two bars but that keeps bouncing up to four because the antenna is being took off the car for the purpose of the video and is roughly pointing the direction of a local phone mast so just over a foot long see the size of my hand um, they're about three inches tall so it's not a big antenna fits nicely on this tripod so I think I'm going to keep it on the tripod or for the tripod because I can point it move it around and it's away from the vehicle um, and then put the mag mount on the car follow the feeder back down to the radio see what it says now I've been moving it uh, restart the app because I did move the antenna quite a bit there so I shouldn't have done if I'm videoing it right so phone signal in the house with the Yagi antenna there's about 67% turn that off and then watch the signal drop I had 96% on it at one point staying on 35% so my signal looks like it's about 35% gonna do a fair test again I like resetting apps um, not apps, the app. Should do a fair test. There you go, 35%. Look green light there is flashing every time the phone searching for a stronger signal. And whichever phone mast it's connected to is 35%, 32%. Turn it back on. Give it a moment to boot up. There you go, 74 percent. It's fluctuating between two and three bars on there. There you go, 96 percent. As that's going up and down. And that is, um, can't see the model number, W-CD-N, see if I can get the light on, yeah, W-CD-MA-210, that's the, uh, the phone boost, that's a 21 100 to 2100 megahertz. Um, 50 quid of eBay. I won't drop links for this or the antenna. And they're easy enough to find. And that's coming off the Yagi antenna. Which is mounted on the tripod. Just pointing roughly where I think the phone mast is. I looked on the map and it's up there on the hill somewhere. So I live in a, in a valley. So I've just moved the antenna a little bit. Let's see if my signal's worse or better. Oh, that signal's gone down. I must have moved the antenna the wrong way. Well, well. Come down is usually defined as move downward and lower, but not necessarily all the way. Don't want to knock her out. Alexa, shut up! Fucking savage. Weaker signal now. Was he pointed in the wrong direction? Showing up two bars on there, 45%. Let's try and point it back how I did it a minute ago. About there ish. I think. The thing is with the Yagi you've got to be spot on. As soon as you move it an inch or two you could lose a signal. Oh, 
nearly full signal. Let's reset this app. No, oh, full signal. Oh yes. Only moved it about two inches. 67%, 77. Normally the third one's higher. Yep, 77%. With the booster repeater going for the Aggie antenna. And again to show it's real. That's still bouncing up and down. 93%. Turn that off. Give it a few seconds. There we go. 32%. 29. <laughs> you get the idea. I won't make it a long video. It's just uh, I did say on the original video for the booster repeater that I did buy the Aggie. So uh, there's the Aggie there. Comes with a U bolt and uh, about 8 inches of coax and a plug. So I've just extended the coax and uh, just sat it on the tripod. Right, catch you on the next video.